Okay, so today I went and bought two new SD cards, a 16 gig Evo Plus and a 32 gig Evo Plus from Samsung. Now, the reason I needed new cards is because my older Sanders cards started to break. Now, in this video, I thought it would be interesting to compare the Evo cards, the, or the Evo Plus cards, to very similar, just the normal Evo card that I bought more or less a year ago. Now, these two are the same size, theoretically, and theoretically the Evo Plus should be faster. But let's put it to the test. Now I'm recording this with my phone because the SD cards don't really fit into my cameras anymore. And that's the main reason why I bought the new ones. My problem with the SanDisk one is that it started peeling off. I don't know how to explain it there. And I tried to fix it with epoxy, but it didn't work quite well. And the problem with the 16 gig one is that this edge started breaking off. I tried to fix that with epoxy glue as well, but that also didn't work. Now, I originally bought this uh, 32 gig Evo SD card because it was cheap and I wanted to use it with a Raspberry Pi. And it works excellently with a Raspberry Pi. It was also able to record video onto it, which wasn't my intention, but it worked quite well. So, yeah, let's try the other cards. So these were the results that I obtained when imaging the cards. In general, the older Evo card had a bit faster write speeds at 18 to 19 megabytes per second, while the 32 gig Evo Plus had about 16. But looking at the read speeds, the Evo Plus had a much higher 54 megabytes per second compared to the normal Evo's 35 megabytes per second. Now the 16 gig Evo Plus had very poor write performance at about 10 megabytes per second, although it the card is advertised to only be capable of up to 10 megabytes per second writes, and its read speed is 55 megabytes per second, which is fine. So when copying files, it's more or less the same story. For these tests, I used a 4 gig video file on all the cards, and yeah, in general, the normal copying speed is a bit higher than the imaging speed. I don't know why this is, but in this case, the, the older Evo again had higher write speeds, but lower read speeds with almost 20 megabytes writes and 31, or sorry, 41 megabytes read speeds compared to the Evo Plus, which had about 17 megabytes write speeds and 72 megabytes read speeds. Unfortunately, by the time I tested this, I already used the 16 gig Evo in another project. Now, if you're only looking at Evo cards, you can pretty much stop watching video here. For the rest of the video, I'm just gonna compare this, the Evo cards to the SanDisk cards. Now, the old SanDisk cards, they still fit into my laptop's card reader, although I don't really want to insert them in it because it can get stuck but they actually have great performance. The 16 gigabyte and the 32 gigabyte have more or less the same image write speeds and copying write speeds. Now they both write at about 41 megabytes per second and the read speeds uh, for a 32 gigabyte card is about 63 megabytes per second versus the 16 gigs 72 megabytes per second. Uh, it's a small difference. Um, now these cards are great for video, but they are quite expensive and I find it really upsetting that an expensive card like this will break. Just a thing to note. Now the Evo Plus 16 has really, really slow write speeds. Um, it, caps, it caps out at around 10 megabytes per second. Uh, the read speeds are fine, it's 54 megabytes per second, but that write speed though, I don't think you'll be able to use that for video. 
Now comparing the Samsung EVA cords against the SanDisk Extreme cords, um, the SanDisk Extreme cords are better suited for video. I just find it very upsetting that they broke. Now both the SanDisk cards are rated U3, um, which means a minimum of 30 megabytes per second write speeds, while the EVA cards are only rated at U are only rated at U1, which means at least 10 megabytes per second. But they appear to work with my camera for full HD videos, so I might as well continue using them since they're about a third the price of the SanDisk cards. Now, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Um, if you want to watch more videos like this, please click subscribe. And please leave a comment if you have experience with working, for example, with Sony or Lexar cards. I hear they, they're quite good as well. Or I've seen these Strontium cards. I've never had experience with any of them. But yeah, thank you very much. Have a nice day. So guys, thanks for watching. Um, if you want to see a video about this dance floor panels, um, please comment below and if you like this video give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you very much.